Hi, I'm Mark Kilgard. I'm a principal software engineer at NVIDIA Corporation, and I want to demo for you today uh, some progress we've been making in mixing uh, three-dimensional graphics uh, with uh, the kind of graphics uh, that's known as resolution-independent 2D graphics, or sometimes vector graphics, or path rendering. Uh, this is a scene that's a 3D scene, uh, but it's special because uh, it has both path rendering content, this tiger, uh, several instances of it, four different tigers, and then a teapot. And uh, we can light this teapot and see that the tigers properly occlude it. Um, we can spin around it. Uh, the thing that's interesting is we can zoom in and out here. And like as we go into the eyeball of the tiger, you see that there's really tons of detail here. We can move in and at, nope, at every point we, we see this tiger. Um, there's all the detail there. This isn't a texture. This is all being rendered from the resolution independent content. Um, now the teapot itself, we can also expand the size of the teapot and see that it properly pokes through the tigers. Um, if we go up and look at one of these tigers, we can see that there's uh, the two kinds of path rendering. There's filling and stroking. I can turn on and off the stroking and you notice that some of the outline and the line on the tongue appear and disappear. We can also turn off the, the filling, in which case you see just the stroking and you can see straight through to the teapot. Um, turn on the filling and you get the tiger back there. Now the uh, text uh, that says path rendering and 3D meet, uh, that's also drawn with uh, path rendering. And come back here and we can actually see that this is rendering at uh, a nice frame rate. We can control how many tigers we want, three tigers, uh, five tigers, uh, go back to four tigers. Um, and there's no textures being used in this. This is all being drawn. Each one of these tigers is uh, 240 different layers of resolution independent content that are all being uh, mixed and shown for you here. Um, if you're interested in this demo, you can download it and play with it on your se yourself. You need a release 275 or later NVIDIA driver with a CUDA capable uh, GPU. Um, so feel free to uh, play with this and see how it works. I hope that this can uh, change the way people interact with uh, 3D and 2D content on their uh, systems. 